I'm going to show how to use the auto tweener, which is a tool that I wrote to supplement the tweening abilities that are built into Flash. Basically I uh, was having problems where I, I needed to do things that Flash tweens just couldn't do. Uh, so I created this, this uh, tool called the auto tweener and what it's going to do is it'll, uh, it'll basically create new keyframes that are in between the current position and the position in the next uh, keyframe. So here you see we have two symbols, the happy face and the sad face. Happy face, sad face. And uh, then in the next keyframe, I just moved them and skewed them a bit so that we can see where they're going to go. Uh, notice that both symbols are on the same layer. That's one of the advantages of the auto tweener. It can, it can uh, tween symbols even if they're on the same layer. So what I want to do is I want to have these guys uh, back up, back up, do a little anticipation, and then go over, and then go over to beyond the target pose. So like this, this guy's going from here to here. So I want him to go like back up, then go over here, and then and then uh, settle back in here. So what I'm going to do is first thing is I'll do an anticipation, and we go to the command menu, and I actually have these hooked up to keyboard shortcuts, but I'm just going to show from the command menu initially. And I'll do anticipate. Let's go like 20%. That'll back up 20% uh, of the distance between the two the two positions. So it started here, ends up here, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to back up just a little bit. Then I want to do the next key pose, which is going to be the overshoot. So let's just put that here. And I'm going to let's overshoot, let's say, 30%. So that's going to be commands overshoot. Where is overshoot? It's down here. Overshoot 30%. So you can see what this did is it backed up, and then it overshot, and then settles. And then I'm just going to do some, some simple tweening to uh, make that motion be a little more smooth. Let's go, uh, okay, I'm going to say 20% and then 80% to do an, an ease in and then an ease out. So auto tween 20% from here. So it goes a little bit toward that, toward that anticipation pose. And then auto tween, I'm just going to do it with keyframes, with, with uh, keyboard shortcuts from now on. Auto tween 80%. So then we have, goes, goes back to the anticipation. And let's do the same thing, really simple here, 20% and then 80%. And then let's just uh, delete that frame right there. So then it just anticipates, goes over to its overshoot position, and then let's do the same thing to settle, 20%, 80%. And then let's uh, delete those extra frames. So it's just, uh, just a little simple demo of, of what you can do with the auto tweener. Um, so that's going to look like that when it plays through. Um, you'll notice that it, it tweened the position and the skew and everything like that. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, it won't tween um, like color changes, like if you change the tint or the, or the alpha. Uh, I don't think I've, I don't think I've uh, modified it yet to, to take account of those. But I plan to do that in the future, particularly if I get uh, interest from from people out there. Anyway, so that's a really simple one. Now I want to show you an example on one of my characters. This is a character from the film that I'm working on. And I just uh, did some some poses. She's just raising her hand to like say hi to someone or something like that. Uh, and um, it's again, it's a really simple move and it's I already built in the anticipation, the overshoot, and then the settle. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some more, use the auto tweener to put in some more in between frames. So uh, she she settles here. So let's uh, just do that that uh, 2080 that I did before. So 20, 80, and uh, that's, that probably doesn't work especially well for the arm there for for this arm because. Uh, and it's going to ease into that pose, but I don't really want to ease into that pose. I want to, I want to start slowly, but then be moving fast when I hit that, at least for the arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I guess I'll just um, 
modify those poses that it gave me. And this is something that I do a lot when I use the auto tweener. I, I just, you know, use its initial thing as sort of a guideline. Let's go with that one. Sort of a guideline of of where I want the, oops, where I want the uh, symbols to go. So now I just, uh, you can see I I just sort of made that arm have its own little anticipation of the anticipation. Um, this is, of course, overlapping motion, which is very important for good animation. So that the, basically, the, in this case, the arm isn't doing, isn't moving at exactly the same time as the head and the body and all that. Then uh, from there, let's, again, let's just do that simple 2080. That's something I use a lot. And uh, see how that looks. So you can see there's here's here's a, a problem with which probably anyone who's used any kind of tween has run into this. You can see that on the rotation, uh, the uh, the hand right here starts overlapping the forearm, which that's just a problem with with any sort of tween that doesn't use inverse kinematics. So if you use Flash's built-in inverse kinematics, you can you can avoid some of that. I haven't modified my tool to to work with the inverse kinematics at all. Uh, I would actually be curious to see if it does work. Uh, you can see I'm just uh, I'm just tweaking some of these poses a little bit to make the motion flow a little more a little more smoothly. 